and if I want to start the experience I just simply plug it in and then basically you'll see that I'm, I'm just going to show you just so it's connecting and now we can see we the screen essentially goes blank and it just shows us the kind of little icon here and that means that we can actually just kind of press here so the phone now is basically um, kind of just all it's doing is supplying connectivity and rendering the application to the screen so everything so this I you know if I normally had the home button or the radio button here then I'll be able to get back to the car's native experience so just to explain to you what we've got on the screen right now uh, we've got a mic button which is also available here on the steering wheel um, we've got um, also these kind of like act this is the activity bar so we said well what do people really want to do when they're driving you know and actually they really want to be driving first and foremost that's the primary experience but they also need to be able to navigate um, it's important for people to be able to continue to communicate and it's important you know that they have access to their media or kind of digital books and so on and um, uh, we also uh, made a space for um, other applications and services that are related to driving and here this is the central space that we're in now which is called the overview and this is actually kind of essentially a little bit like kind of Google Now um, or similar to Google Wear that you saw earlier today so this shows, shows you um, contextual kind of like just-in-time information so if I made a search for Starbucks or a toy shop or a cafe or a restaurant at home then that would I would see a card of that thing it would just appear when I got in the car kind of like handily or if I was listening to a piece of music that could be kind of there as well and then for example if I'd missed a call and um, that call would also kind of appear within this space as well and you know these kind of function I can tap one of these I'm just going to do it this way because it's kind of easier to show it to you this way so I'm not, now just going to step through the applications kind of relatively quickly um, so this is the maps application and you can see again we have the microphone in the top right hand corner and this time we have a drawer and actually nearly all of the applications or nearly all of the activities down here all have the same pattern they have a drawer on the left and a microphone on the right so if I click to the drawer I can just get to other typical kind of like maps um, maps um, functionality so I can get you know saying oh it's giving me the wonderful suggestion of going home that might be a good idea I'm exhausted um, we also can see things like we can easily find if there's parking nearby and so on so it's pretty simple to use and, um, and obviously I can kind of initiate navigation from any place I want or I can just say hey you know navigate to Alamo Square So now it'll just start navigating to Animo Square. And it's really important that we're able to do that because when you're driving, you don't really want to have to be tapping the touch screen a lot. We, we essentially, we want something that's a voice first kind of interaction. So I'm actually, I'm gonna mute it now because I don't want it talking over my demo. As lovely as the, as, as the voice is, but I'll just do it like this. Okay, mute navigation.